Hello there, Eronar here, and today we are going to review Aetolians. Before anything, I want to say that Aetolians is just like Ithaca, but more, more like Ithaca, better. Mostly you can vanguard your army and be in the forest. But you will see. Let's start with Toas. Our hero, who is not so good in dueling other heroes, but he got plenty abilities to mess up with enemy units. Uh, the cheat for Hades is for free. You need to use it to get away and be uh, restoring everything and be fine. Next, a lot of good abilities to make mass routing of enemies or boost and protect your units. So this hero is avoiding enemy heroes and going to mess up with enemy infantry. Let's review his roster. In early game we are going to use Aetolian Militia. Uh, these guys are just like Militia. You can... Uh, well, I will repeat this many times. You can vanguard, deploy these units uh, anywhere you want. Uh, what makes this uh, better than militia is the forest fighter. Let me move them into the forest and you will see how their uh, attack and defense is changing from 27 and 30. It will change very soon. Yeah, 30 and 36. So now it is uh, much better a militia. So, that's your first option. Next we have young spears, good young option, uh, very good chargers and duelists. I recommend them as well. They cannot one card deploy it. Yeah, they are standard. But if you want something that can one card deploy, it's these Aetolian riders. They might be weaker at dwelling. But they are very good at charging and getting into the position. They have stalk, yes. You will be able to flank with these guys very easily. Or maybe use them as backdoor commando in your early game sieges. We have standard spearmen, standard frontline, nothing so special. Usually I do not recommend them as they are quite weak or not cost efficient. Instead as frontline we can try using X-Men from the Watchtower tier 2 unit. Uh, usually it is not cost efficient but that's what we have right here. Another Watchtower unit is Light Swordsman, standard flanker, you need to use it as flanker, then it's pretty good, otherwise they are not so good at dueling. For missiles we got Echian Slingers. Pretty good ranch units, I recommend using them. They are going to do skirmishing cost efficiently. Oh yeah, finally we got some bowmen. These bows are slightly better than uh, st standard bowmen, they have better damage, you can vanguard deploy them, yes. And if needed, they can fight in the forest. So it's really better than what many Achaean factions have in early game. Then we have the low tier Aetolian skirmishers. Uh, pretty fine, decent. Um, they are slightly better than the most, the lowest tier javelins. That's fine. And we have skirmishers, which are second tier. Uh, just like from Mycenae, these guys have very strong javelins and more models. They are damage dealers. Now let's move to the mid tier. In mid tier we have standard shielded spearmen from Ekia. 
decent stats, battlefield healing and if you want you can put shields on back for more charge and more damage. These guys are standard and pretty commonly used. Instead we can use Aetolian Spearmen. These are very good because not just vanguarding but they have stall and flank attack. They are going to be excellent flankers and especially against swords and their charge bonus is very nice. So I recommend using these spearmen in your battles. Then alternative frontline or kill line unit we got Aetolian Axe Warriors. Um, their stats are not so good enough but if we move them to the forest you will see that they are much better than you would expect. So 35 attack and 39 defense has been changed into whopping 39 attack and 47 defense. That's this is much more than standard front lines and kill lines have in the mid game. So I recommend using these axe warriors in forest. What we have next? The Aetolian Hunters. Uh, these are very good, decent uh, archers, very nice range and damage output. You can use them as Itaka as always. Very, very, very good uh, archers, to, to my opinion. Next, we have Javelins. Uh, these Javelins are special. Uh, they might have low HP and uh, not enough models and they have it because their javelins ignore shields. So to balance this out these, these javelins have uh, less models and they can ignore shields. So you are going to melt frontline units from the front. You don't have to skirmish around. And it's it's kind of balanced. When when I was dueling this with other skirmishers, it was even battles. Uh, so you will be having a lot of fun with, with these guys. Oh, did I say that this is just like Itaka? This faction is better than Itaka. It has melee chariots. Itaka with melee chariots is um, is mm, nice. It's, it's exactly what you want to have. Now let's move to the late game units. So maybe you remember the Odysseus Midnight Runners. These guys are slightly better because they have more charge and more offensive and they have much more HP per model. So these guys are viable. Caledonian Spear Masters, yes, they are viable flankers and chargers and they are not afraid of the large units as well huh? so this is much better improvement from Itaka next uh, we have companions of Toas uh, very good front line or kill line especially against swords and spears um, decent stats and you really want to see how are they going to perform in the forest? So let's watch their defense and attack. Oh, they are going to be so powerful in the forest. Alright, what do we have next? Caledonian Bowmasters. They have pretty nice range and damage. And yeah, you can vanguard them as well so in at start of the battle you are able to do very nice skirmishing and missile damaging right from the start these are very good uh, late game units now we have the Caledonian noble hunters they have strong uh, javelins weapon yes they ignore shields as i said it is balanced out 
on based on the models. Uh, so it's kind of a fair. Their damage is fair and you will be having fun shooting enemies and ignoring their shields. But you need to protect them from uh, infantry units. And very last and essential um, tool to make Itaka viable is reinforced chariots. Melee chariots and heavy chariots are so needed for this faction and you can have them. Sadly, you shall not put them in the forest like your Axe warriors because this chariot is going to take a lot of uh, penalties. So, in open fields you are going to use chariots, on the forest you are going to use uh, uh, companions of Toas, and everywhere on the map you are going to use the rest of the army. Uh, this faction is recommended for more advanced players, uh, because you can do very good shenanigans. You can basically deploy, for example you would be deployed somewhere here, you can have your missiles deployed forward and let's bring some another unit, let's say these chargers would be deployed. Or you can make some good traps like you will have the axes deployed here and you will just bring chariots. Oof. This faction is just like Itaka but better and with many cool units like I have showed you. So I believe you will have a lot of fun with this faction, that is all, see you later.